Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? Y'all, it's your boy CD. You know what I'm saying? I'm back with another tutorial. You know what I'm saying how to make a dance out beat from scratch. You know what I'm saying? With drum bounce and all that. You know, shout out to everybody that's been supporting from day one. Y'all already know what's up. All right, so I got this pluck melody here from Crux Don. You know what I'm saying? As you can see right here, I got it right here. You know what I'm saying? So this is what a pluck melody sounds like. I'm going to play it. I did make some changes to the bass section and notes right here. But I'm going to play it so y'all can hear what it sounds like. But first, let me just duplicate this. And let y'all hear what it actually sounds like. What it actually sounds like by itself. Alright, so this is what it actually sounds like. Or sounded like when I got it. actually sounded like I like that but I feel like I wanted to spice it up a little bit you know what I'm saying so what I did I messed with these section right here and then I just like move it up and just move it up and move it to like F minor section right here you know what I'm saying that sound good but while doing that, you know what I'm saying, I already created the whole drums and all that, but I'm going to go through it before I go any further. So the first thing I did was, you know what I'm saying, well, yeah, first off, y'all need to get this Whip Up drum kit, Producer Ground Whip Up drum kit. Because drum, these drums that I've been using, everything you see right here is Producer Ground, Producer Ground, Producer Ground, Producer Ground. Y'all need to get this Producer Ground Whip Up drum kit. Don't play with that. I'm serious with that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to cop that. So, this is just a clap. So, instead of just having this section right here, just keep repeating, keep repeating. Right here, I just made a small change. So, I leave the space and then, you know what I'm saying? You notice just leave the empty space where this rim will come in. You know what I'm saying? So what you do sometimes is create a drum bounce. So you gotta like go off of how you create your melodies and all that. By listening to your melodies, you know how to create a drum bounce. Cause like certain tone, like certain type of feel in the melody will give you that bounce. Cause if you notice, you know what I'm saying? by listening to that, you know where to place your kicks or your snares or claps and all that. So the next percussion right here, Saying, and then I just layer it. This not a percussion right here. And then I got me another percussion. So it's like I got three, I got three, four percussions right here. Cause even the rim shot sometimes comes in a percussion section too. sound good hold on let me change something real quick let me change something real quick ah here we go all right so everything you hear i'm gonna make sure i put everything on my mixer channel all right, great. So for this right here in number five, I'm gonna make sure I have that probably just be panning left and right. So in number five, I'm gonna make sure I have Pan Man on that. All right, I'm gonna set the rate. Make sure it's smooth. That's good. Now, what I'm gonna do, you feel me? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get me, um, probably just get me something, um, from one of them 
some producer ground kits. I got something that I took the other day that I used. Uh, where did I find it? I think it was from a one shot kit. I think it was from a one shot. see I think it's this well, let me let me try something and see and whenever you're making beats though it's not sometimes it's not always you knowing what to do sometimes it's just like okay let me try this let me try that and sometimes it works you know what I'm saying so don't be go crazy like everybody is talking about oh you have to know this you have to know that sometimes making beats is all experimental you feel me all experimental So this is yeah, that's the anomaly is the bass note. I'll put it at G. Alright. I don't really like how it be sounding. Let me see some. It's okay in G. Alright, so let me draw this to like A right there and put this at A. You gotta feel this stuff out to really know what you're going after, like, you know what I'm saying, because it's got to feel that. kick So for this right here, I probably won't use this. It was just like to feel it out, to see what it would sound like with it, but nah. So I'm gonna change that up. So I need like an 808, you know what I'm saying? Something that go nice with it. Sounds like give it that bounce, you feel me? So the melody's from Crux Dine, you already know. Shout out to Crux Dine. Y'all can follow him on Instagram. You feel me? Boy's a genius. Alright, so I know this is gonna be a G.
good. Let me just drop this back a little bit. Wait, it was on that before. Put it on G. See what's up. <laughs> Just gotta keep experimenting, keep pushing, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes your flow gonna change, sometimes your style gonna change, you just gotta keep going. So you already know what's up. I'm gonna level all this. You know what I'm saying? Kids right here. Stuff like that. God, I didn't um, get this over. I think that's it. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna pull up Nexus and look for like a soft sound. Um, let me see some. Because I wanna make sure I got this thing fired up, you feel me? And I have that on D right here. So I'm getting my hi hats rolling. I don't know if this works with this. Alright.
shit, so I'm gonna make sure my high speed, you know what I'm saying? Just gotta improvise sometimes when it comes to these stuff. All right, and then I just do this like that. Uh, this. I think I have an idea for what I'm going to use. Um, where is that? Where is that? There you go. And I'm going to just drop that pitch way down. see some of the sounds be mixed some ain't once you got good sounds you ain't got it to pressure it some sounds that need a little eq and a little touch up you can do that and basically it sounds good all i need to do is just mash this shit and then bam we got ourselves a nice beat
So basically, that's actually like a beat right there. You feel me? I could add something else to it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want it to like spoil the whole vibe and stuff like that. Because this vibe is alright. You know what I'm saying? Not every dancehall beat or every beat you need to overcrowd it too, too much. Simple enough and fire at the same time. What's up? Feel me? Basically, that is it for this video right now. If y'all got beats that y'all want to sound good, you want a little fix and stuff like that, just hit me up on IG. I just do this shit for free, and I can just post it on YouTube. Y'all can see the whole process. You feel me? And you already know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe. I'll be dropping more videos soon. Work got me. You know what I'm saying? All messed up and shit. But y'all already know what's up. City guys gonna stay relevant. You feel me? Peace out.